I'm Dave from VVAX Metrotech. Today we're going to show you a quick tutorial on the VLOCK3 locator and some of the unique features it brings to the game. We're going to locate a residential power service using our 5 watt transmitter, 33 kilohertz, uh, and we'll want to show you how this uh, will give you more information, uh, allowing you to make faster and easier locates. The unique feature of the VLOCK3 locator is the tri axle omnidirectional antennas. These allow us to pick fields up from virtually any direction. We don't have to be standing directly on top of it and properly aligned. This will show us where the lines are. It also features a, a color display that shows us how much distortion is present on the field we're actually tracing. And knowing how much distortion you have helps you understand how good your depth measurements and current measurements are going to be, or if there's other conductors nearby that are interfering with your locate signal. Let's begin. 33 kilohertz in the transmitter, turn the receiver on. Because we're using 33, we'll tune in 33. We'll step out to where the line runs, and here's the actual locate itself. So you can hear and see the you can hear and see the locate. Bring bring the camera in here. Let's show you what this what this display looks like. So in this case, my blue bar is heading up, and when the when the bar is blue, that means we found the line. This is my peak response right here. Here's my null response. The arrow is either side. As I move the receiver to one side, the null reversed itself right here. And you can see that in this case, the peak and null agree entirely. The compass shows us what the orientation the conductor is traveling in beneath us. And when we line it up properly, it tells us we're going the right direction. We have three foot six beneath us and 72, or sorry, eight milliamps of current from our transmitter. We're in 33 kilohertz. Now we'll pick the receiver up and continue to walk. What you'll notice is as we leave the area of distortion, the compass will turn green and the display colors will now turn green. And when you see green, that tells you you have a far less, a far less distorted field. I'll show you what I mean right here. So there's that, the bars now turn green, which means this is a cleaner field. We're gonna get better depth measurement, more accurate depth measurement, two foot seven. We're actually seeing about 5.7 milliamps of current and uh, the, same, the peak and null still works the same way. Let's quickly show you what the, some of the other features are. If I push and hold this button here, the mode button, I now change into what we call vector mode. And vector mode shows us where the conductor is relative to where we're standing. It gives us a depth measurement and tells us how far left or right to move the receiver to position ourselves directly over top of the line. This is the vector mode uh, icon right here. Still 5.6 milliamps of current. As I pick the receiver up and move it, you'll see the display change so I can actually come right in on top of the conductor and says, here's me up on the surface, there's the conductor beneath me. And I can see that from all the way over here. I can walk this far away and the vector mode still sees that line in that direction. And when I move that way, you can see it position, repositioning itself underneath me. So this very quickly shows me where the line is. You'll also notice that the sound is a silent when you're directly on top of the conductor. Moving the receiver one side to the other results in two different tones. So this allows you to position yourself on top of a conductor and simply walk and follow it. And as long as you hear no noise, not this or this, you know you're on top of the conductor. Up in the top corner here, you also see a small uh, view called plan view. And this shows us where the conductor is beneath us relative to that center line right there. You notice that the vector shows us off to one side, the plan view shows us off to one side. As I move back to here, it goes quiet and I line up. Now I can simply walk and follow that line directly where I want to go. Now that's the vector view. Let's show you another view called plan view. Push and hold again. This one just shows me the conductor, nothing else. Very, very simple to operate. And it's still, it doesn't have a compass display. You actually see the, you see the field beneath you. So all you have to do in this mode is if this is the, what you want to simply do, just follow the line, you, you choose the plan view, take the receiver and just walk. You can actually hear the tone change and you can see the conductor beneath you as you're walking. And as long as the field is relatively clean, the line will stay green. If you come into an area where there's a lot of distortion, the, the uh, line will change colors to indicate to you that there may be other, other utilities nearby that could be interfering with your locate signal. You know, one thing I wanted to add about the plan view, I've been involved in locating for about 30 years now. And the thing that separates a lot of manufacturers from others is listening to their customers. And in all the thousands of technicians I've trained over those years, one comment's come through 
time and time again, and that is I don't do locates that often. Sometimes I only do it when I'm on call, or sometimes I only do it once or twice a month, and I can't honestly remember how to make my equipment work. So VVAX listened to that and said, let's put a simpler locate mode in our device, and we call it Plan View. And what Plan View allows you to do is just pick the equipment up, turn it on to Plan View, and follow the line. If you only do locates every once in a while, like when you're on call, uh, this is the simplest technique to locate, and, that, and that's why we put it in there. Then we go back to traditional peak and null. Here's your peak and null. There's your peak response. Kiss the red line with the, in this case, the green bar. There's my peak. Here's my null response on the bottom, the two arrows. The traditional compass shows us always what direction, the or, what orientation the conductor is traveling in. Uh, we get continuous depth measurement and current measurement. There's another interesting feature here called omnidirectional. And in omnidirectional, I don't need to be directly on top of the conductor to hear the signal. We know the conductor is here, but if I turn my receiver this way and walk across it, you'll still hear a signal come up and go down. Even though the field is traveling in this direction and my coils are not lined up properly, the omnidirectional antennas pick that signal up, allow me to quickly find it, zero in on its, tra on its trajectory, and then follow that line. So the omnidirectional uh, feature is very useful for blind sweeping. When you're not sure where lines are in the first place, you can simply choose omni and follow, sweep across the area and see what you pick up. One additional feature of the vector screen is that our, our circle, for closer you get to the conductor, the smaller the circle becomes, and it also changes color from, in this case, red to blue to green when you're right on top of your target line. So it gets small and also shows you a nice display. Now, one more thing that folks have told us that they like about the vector is, if you're trying to locate a conductor that's underneath a roadbed or a driveway or a parked car, you can locate the conductor in vector mode by, by walking beside it and locate it off to one side or the other. So you don't actually have to be on top of the conductor to see where it is and to see how deep Here's it is. a good example. Here's a situation where there might have been a piece of equipment between me and the conductor, or there might have been a frozen river or a frozen creek you couldn't get through. From here, the display shows me the conductor I'm tracing with my signal is 19 feet off in that direction. There's the, there's the vector response over there showing me it's 19 feet in that direction. So I can locate this without even being on top of it. It also tells me it's three foot six inches deep over there. Hey, thanks for watching today. We hope this short instructional video has helped you understand the benefits and features of the ELOC 3 locator set. If you'd like more information, please visit us at vvax-metrotech.com or click the link below. Thank you.